Guys, I want to share with you a new product I got in the mail this week. This is a new product from Red Rotor. Red Rotor makes the Strider frame that I fly. Uh, and the Strider frame comes with a PDB that has a built-in OSD. It's a proprietary OSD developed by Red Rotor. And what Red Rotor have done is they've taken the guts of that OSD and they've put them on this 36 millimeter PDB uh, so that anybody can fly their OSD, not just people who have their frame. And I like this idea a lot. Uh, you know, I like the Strider frame, uh, but not everybody wants to fly one. You may want to fly something like a Krieger or a Shrike, which is the new sort of pure X form factor for, for which has a little bit less frontal area for racing and a very light. Uh, and, and even on a very, very minimalist build like that, you can find a place to stack this 36 millimeter board and get the advantages of an OSD uh, without having to have all the, you know, you could do a micro minimum OSD uh, and, and you'd have to find some place to stick it. It often doesn't look very neat. You know, this is just going to stack right in there and, uh, and be pretty neat and clean. This board has 5 volt and 12 volt regulators and it has a filtered battery output for your camera. And of course, it's got all the standard OSD stuff like voltage, uh, current reading, RSSI, and whatnot. Uh, Red Rotor's design philosophy is to make things as simple and automatic as possible. So there's a little bit of a split here. If you're the kind of person who wants to tweak every last little detail of your OSD, you may be happier with something like a Minim OSD, where you're going to be opening the Arduino interface, you're going to be compiling it, you're going to be tweaking this and that. Uh, this, this is not that. The idea here is to have a simple and robust product that does what you need and not much more. So you got voltage monitoring, you got current monitoring, you got RSSI monitoring, uh, you got your voltage regulators, and you've got your PDB. Here's your, here's your output pads. And that's basically it. There is another killer feature uh, that is in development for this board but is not currently available. And that is it is going to have a lap timer as well where it will show your lap time in the OSD as you're flying. And you can see an example of that up here in this thread. This is the product thread on RC Groups. Uh, you can see an example of that in the video, the flight video here. Uh, they got a lap, time, lap number and lap time down here. Uh, so that's something to look forward to, not currently available. The rest of the functionality, though, is relatively automatic. Uh, the board will detect whether you're inputting RSSI or not and will show the RSSI on screen or not, depending on whether it's getting the signal. You can input analog or PPM RSSI. It'll auto-detect and, and deal with that, no problem. Uh, the current meter is calibrated already. There's no need to do any current calibration like you would have to do with Minim OSD. Um, the voltage, I believe, uh, you know, I haven't tested this on a, on a copter yet. When I had the ROSD uh, on my frame, on the PDB on my frame, you did have to calibrate the voltage uh, so that it was very, very simple, though. There was a button on it. There's a similar button here that you press. This is also used to select NTSC or PAL. Just, uh, if it, again, if it works like the, uh, like the PDB did, you just press the button when you power it up, and it'll switch between them, no problem. Um, so, so I think I'm very excited about this product. Uh, you know, my current frame is the Strider Flex and it has the headers for the Minim OSD. And, and so, you know, I'm set up there and I do like some of that configurability, but I have been thinking about building a more minimalist frame with less, uh, l less complexity and less stuff to break. You know, and less tweaking and, you know, more stuff, less less downtime spent after I break something having to fix it and more time spent flying. And I've also been thinking about building kind of a more pure racer, but I kind of didn't want to give, I've flown with just telemetry voltage monitoring, you know, where my Tyrannus goes A1 critical, or I've flown with a buzzer. Uh, and, and that's not my preference. I really like having voltage monitoring on an OSD. Uh, but I didn't want to put a full minimum OSD on my, on, on like a, a pure racing copter. And I didn't want to spend 70 bucks on something like an OS Doge. Uh, and, and that's the other great thing about this product. It is, uh, according to this thread, it's retailing for 35 bucks. So that is a pretty darn good price, I think. Compare it, compare it to like an OS Doge where you're going to pay like 75 bucks if my memory is correct maybe 60 bucks if you try to order it from Banggood. And, uh, you know, you'll get 
similar stuff, right? Voltage regulators, uh, PDB, etc., OSD. Um, but I've, I've always found it a little painful to pay 75 bucks for what basically amounts to like 20, 25 bucks at most of parts. You know, if you think about it, you get a, a minimum OSD for, for 10 bucks, 15 bucks, and you get a PDB for five bucks, 10 bucks, and that's it. And then you, you get an OS Doge and it's basically the same thing, but it's like 75 bucks. And I just don't know what, where you get that from. So here we've got this product, uh, simple functional OSD, voltage regulators, Everything you need for your, you basically your, you know, your minimalist quad build or any copter you care to put this in. Uh, I'm really looking forward to getting this in a copter and getting it in the air and seeing how it flies. But if my experience with the Red Rotor OSD on my Strider is any, uh, any indication, there would be nothing to complain about here. So, uh, you know, uh, check this product out, check out the thread up here and, uh, you know, let me know what you think if you have any experience with it. Happy flying.